Hi, Pastor Rodney here from Calvary Chapel. Listen, I think it's no secret to anyone, our country is facing some really challenging times right now. And uh, with the coronavirus, COVID-19. Our, our government officials, our local and state government officials um, are doing everything they can to control. And so, uh, as you probably know, the governor has asked any meetings of 100 people or more to consider canceling. Um, at first, quite honestly, I wasn't a big fan of that, but uh, speaking to the mayor of our city, I've decided to cancel our gathering. I'm not canceling church. You know, I've heard people say that uh, church is canceled, or, you know, using that phrase. You can't cancel church. We are the church of the living God. We are the body of Christ and we are the church. You can't cancel church. What we're going to do is we're going to cancel our gathering here at Calvary Chapel tomorrow. And we're going to meet on Facebook Live at 10 a.m. Will you join me? Facebook Live at 10 a.m. I'm going to talk to you tomorrow about uh, the sermon title is the Christian response to the coronavirus from Psalm 91. I want you to read ahead Psalm 91. We're going to have a full worship band here. We're going to have worship and just regular service. Just you'll be home and I'll be here. We'll be here. And get your family, get your friends. And then I'm going to ask you to, at the end of service, I thought to have communion with you. You know, I think it's a good time to remember the Lord. It's a good time to remember the promises of the Lord. So I'm going to ask you to get a couple things ready before service. Get, bring your heart. Get your heart ready. And say amen. Get your Bibles. Get your pen, your pad. Bring your family. And then also get your communion elements ready. Have them there handy. Uh, perhaps it's, you don't have crackers and juice. Uh, bread. A piece of bread, a, a roll. Um, uh, maybe you don't have a grape juice. Well, use orange juice or whatever juice you have. Or if you have no juice, then use water. Again, it's not about the elements. It's about uh, remembering the Lord, okay? So at the end, uh, we'll have uh, communion together. I guarantee you by the end of service tomorrow, you are going to feel strong. Your faith is going to be encouraged. Remember, faith and fear cannot coexist. You can't be full of faith and full of fear. It's like, like oil and water, right? Faith and fear can't coexist. So I want you to be full of faith. I want you to trust the Lord. I want you to be uh, encouraged. So join me. Plan to join me tomorrow, all right? And have a good time. Uh, tell your friends. And uh, let's gather together and have a great church service. In the meantime, in between time, you pray for me. I'll pray for you. And I'll see you on time. 10 a.m. right here at I'll be here. You'll be there. <laughs> you know what I mean. We'll see you then. God bless you. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Bye. See ya.